I technically are to show me a new way of how to make rocks and crystals and once you learn this you're gonna make it this way every single time. Usually when creating rocks we tend to do exactly the same. The same. We go for a tide generator, a distance node, then for the directional warp, edge detect and we do the usual. We do a flat fill with a lot of different direction for the gradients to just make random shapes. Now there's a small trick we can use in here that is super easy and simple that is going to give you a new result in rocks and that is using a non-uniform directional warp with a uniform color. By using this node we go from an image like this to something like this, something that has more 3D shape compared to our previous image. The way we are doing this is we are actually using a uniform color in white value. The reason this happens is, is because we're inputting this into the intensity and the warp angle map. Now, if you check my parameters, my intensity is actually at 20. If I keep pushing this up, the intensity is gonna keep going up and now I have rocks with a little bit more of length. Now we can do this in several ways. We can actually repeat the step one over again, but change the direction. So it goes in different direction, taking the last one to make more variation of our rocks with more of a 3D to 4D shape. Now I recommend you do this actually in four directions. One will be direction zero, the next one would be 45 degrees. And then I would try to go to the other side, 135 and I will end up more or less at 270 degrees just to get some kind of really nice rocks going around. If you want to learn more about how you can make rocks in Substance Designer, let me know in the comments what you would like to learn next.